We're looking at storage. Now, most clubs are short on storage, which means they have to maximize the use of their boat racking space. And as you can see here, there's quite a lot of skulls. They go back three boats in that direction. There's some on the other side as well. And they're not that far distance from each other. And it's important to recognize with skulls and any other boats that most of the damage that occurs within a club is when you're handling them putting them on and off, taking them off and putting them back on the, on the racks, on the shelves, okay? Um, so if we were to choose this one, then the boat that is going to cause us the most problem is this one above it because it's got that nice sharp little bolt shearing there. So not only should I put this one on here, of course every single one of these riggers should have a pair of half balls on it, but also I can chock it, I can put a block underneath it and lift it up a little bit further. So I'll be lifting the boat up like this, putting the block underneath, remembering obviously to, to take it out again when I've finished with it, which gives me a little bit more space here to maneuver the boat out. But I can also make myself make it slightly easier on myself by moving some of the boats around the boat that I'm taking out. So the, the boat up there, we can move out a little bit to give us a bit more space. And then underneath, we have a nice sort of sharp fin and we want to move that in so we leave ourselves a space that we can take this boat out and maneuver out from the compound. So having made the space for myself um, for this boat, chock that one, move those boats, I am now in a position to get hold of this boat and lift it up and take it out if I was going to use this boat. But of course I'm not, I'm going to use my boat which unfortunately is the one on the top. Okay, if you're going to use uh, something like the steps, you obviously want to make sure they're stable. This ground is anything but level. So I've got a little bit of a wedge under here. And I'm going to depend upon this to provide me with stability while I'm carrying a weight above my head. Okay, so I know where this boat is balanced. I, I don't think about it too much. It's sort of here and here. As I lift it off the shelf, it should sort of come up at both ends, which it does but I make sure it's not wiggling around too much before I commit to extracting it from the shelf. Now, inside there are lots of weeds, so I want to make sure they're not attached to anything. Okay, so I've got the boat out, sort of clear of the back of the shelf behind me. So I want to try and keep the boat in the same position as I go down one step, right? And then the other foot comes down. Now I'm in a position to take the boat further away from the shelf like this. So we're pretty much clear of the shelf now. It's going well so far and down onto the floor again, keeping the boat in the same position. Now I'm clear of the shelf, and this is the one where I just take my right hand here and make sure the boat is slightly balanced down there. So as I let go, I can just let it fall into my left arm like that, turn around and walk away. <laughs> 